uh, performance uh, overall? Um, I think overall I did pretty well this week handling the pressure and the crowd. I uh, wasn't expecting myself to actually be able to handle the pressure like this but I handled it pretty well this week. Um, learned a lot from this week and especially finally get to play my first LPGA event so it's really, it's really a good week. Can you talk a bit about how when the crowd was like cheering for you as you went two on and walking up to the green? Um, I think I got a little bit emotional back there. Um, you know, especially um, having everyone out here but not my dad. My dad passed away two years ago. Um, you know, to be able to do this in front of home crowd, having the support, it means a lot to me. And, you know, my dad will be looking above me and I think he will be proud of me today. I think you had a bit of a shaky second nine coming in uh, <coughs> with a boogie birdie, boogie, but then birdieing the last. Can you talk through about that a bit? Yeah. Um, I made a mistake on the tee shot definitely and then I hit a really good second shot laying up to the right and just putt and drop so I wasn't I, I wasn't um, sad or angry on that putt but you know it's just golf like sometimes you make sometimes you miss um, and then I buddied and I knew it was I knew it was coming on on 15 and then I, I buddied that hole and you know 16 just made another mistake so on the second shot so I mean, it, it, it all happens but you know I just have to learn from my mistakes and you know know what I'm doing next time so what's next for you um, going back to school um, excited to be back with the team again and you know they're playing the last fall event and fortunately tomorrow's the last round for them so I just hope they can win the team event and I just hope that any of my teammates especially Lottie um, to win an individual um, tonight. So how, how does it feel being the best Malaysian Tunisia uh, in an LPGA event in Malaysia as an amateur? Um, words can describe how much it means to me and you know to be able to perform this week and perform at a big stage um, you know, I finally believe that and have and have faith in myself that I can do big things on a big stage. As an amateur player, uh, do you feel satisfied with your performance throughout the tournament? There were a lot of shots left out there um, this week, and like I said, it's it's give and take this week. And you know, I I give I give my best, and you know, I learned a lot from this week. So th there's nothing much I can do, but. Uh, overall, it's still a really good week for me. Um, so, we were obviously playing with Ash in the same flight. Two fellow Sarawakians having a little mini tournament for best Malaysian. Did you make did, did, did you feel proud of the Sarawakians? You know, um, definitely. I mean, Ashley's a great player and she's an experienced one. And I always do look up to her when I was a kid. Um, you know, and to be able to play with her today. And I think this is our first round together, so, you know, um, it's something that I think that both of us have done for Malaysia and Malaysian golf. And, you know, tell, we, I mean, Malaysia, we do have talent, it's just we need more support and good ideas for our Malaysian game. So, yeah. One more question, did two of you color coordinate today? Um, no, I was supposed to wear garnet, but I was running off garnet shirt, and I didn't know what was she wearing. So, no, we didn't. We definitely did not coordinate anything, but she just appears to be almost the same color. Okay. Uh, Kenny, Wesley. Wesley. Wesley um, yeah, he's one of my he's one of my childhood friend. We grew up together, and you know, I, I call him up because um, he's most probably the one that knows me the best on and off the golf course so it's it's really good to have him in the back this week and let him experience how it feels like together with me and enjoying this week and 
um, giving him the experience and what I experienced as well. Did it help you having a good friend? Yeah, definitely. Calm me down a lot. Um, when I when I make mistakes, he's he's the one by my side saying, "Oh, it's okay. Just keep it going and keep going. Finish strong and stuff like that." And that is most probably what everyone needs involved. Um, to be able to hear that is is one of the things that we we ha we can take off pressure from our chest. So I feel like having him on the on the back this week and you know him telling me that it's okay, it's, it's fine, you know we can get it back. It 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 makes me feel a lot more calmer and the pressure taking off me is much is much more. Okay. Well, one question. Obviously, the whole thing has not sink in yet, and you haven't had time to reflect. Um, your teammate is the world number one amateur. You are eight on the ranking. Do you foresee that with performances like this, that you could perhaps be the world number one amateur? Um, you know, I'm definitely not looking at a ranking. I mean, Lottie Wo, she is a phenomenal golfer. Um, she won the Augusta National Women's, and I was there watching her sinking the putt on 18. Um, it's amazing, and you know, I have like one of the teammates. And she's the most hardworking teammate I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, she, she's she's always on the grind, and that's what makes her the one of one. And you know, I feel like you know, getting advice from her, getting getting more and um, learn from her, it will probably make me a better golfer. And especially, you know, us two being on the same team, so it makes it pretty special. And like a lot of people say. The both of us can can make something happen in the team championship for Forest Day. Actually, has played uh, in the Olympic before, so maybe you have also the intention to be there one day. Yeah, definitely. That's one of the goal, and you know, one of my um, she's kind of like a friend of me, um, but I call my sister Michelle. She plays in the Olympics in 2016 Rio, and I was talking to her back then. Uh, probably like a week ago or two that you know I'm aiming for 2028 Los Angeles Paris, uh, Olympics and um, after I graduate 2026 in Florida State. Um, Mirabel, um, after this week I'm sure you probably can't wait to play in your next LPG, LPG event. No, um, uh, are you hoping that no, with this week a uh, good result you probably you know open I mean you probably maybe you get you uh, maybe a few invites for next season? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually hope, uh, hoping for that and you know I'm hoping to get in and play the Augusta National Women's Amateur next year again. Uh, it's a fun week to be around and you know I'm not I'm not trying to think about that and thinking too far ahead but I just want to you know get on my spring season, um, enjoy with the teammates, enjoy with my school coaches and you know to see what happens. One last question. Any major goals uh, before the year ends? Um, not at the moment, but definitely for next year that, you know, we're all hoping for the NCAA National Championship, um, the team championship, and also the individual. So hopefully one of us, me or Lottie, could stand a chance to hold a trophy. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.